Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew here from RIP Lane 99. Today, I'm going to be go, uh, giving you a quick tutorial on how to make an MP3 CD using iTunes. So, first things first, we're going to fire up iTunes. Our next step is to create our playlist that we're going to burn. The only way to burn a disc on iTunes is to create a first created playlist. The way we do that is we can either press this little plus sign here, or we can go ahead and press Command N, which is what I'll do. We'll go ahead go ahead and name this test run and we're gonna come over to our music library and to simplify things I'm gonna go ahead and choose one artist and I'll go ahead and pick blue October over here blue October and I'll go ahead and pick all of this and I'll drag it right over to the playlist I'll come over here and we're almost ready to burn it the thing we're going to do first, though, is what we need to do is convert each one to MP3 format. Most songs are in AAC format. As you can see, I've already converted most of these, except this last one here. If I can show you right here that it is, in fact, an AAC audio file, and that needs to be an MP3. So what we can do that is secondary click and put create MP3 version. Now, there's one problem. Most of you, when you do this, are it's not going to say create mp3 version it's going to say create AAC file so what you need to do is come over to iTunes preferences you're going to need to come to import settings and change import using from AAC encoder to mp3 encoder and go ahead and say ok so we'll go ahead and secondary click put create mp3 version and it'll go ahead and convert convert fairly quickly. Now something you need to know is if you bought the song you will not be able to do this unless you bought the song under iTunes Plus in which case it would not have a DRM. Now this isn't the actual conversion of the song this is still the AAC audio file. What we'll go ahead and do is take this out of our playlist come back to our music to date added and here is the final um, mp3 version We'll drag that back into test run and we're good to go to burn the disk. We'll actually just take a regular disk, actually it's we can use a regular 700 megabyte CDR and you, you can fit uh, tons and tons of song on that, on that one little CD. We'll go ahead and slide that right in there. I have a Mac by the way um, and we'll go ahead and just wait for the computer to recognize the CD. I should have my CD preferences pop up in just a second. I'll go ahead and ignore this and click on burn disk. Now of course the default setting is audio CD. You can even change the gap between your songs. But I'll go ahead and come over here to mp3 CD and burn it. It'll check the playlist. Make sure everything is correct. Make sure all files are in mp3 uh, format. And it'll go ahead and burn it. The good thing about this is if you have a truck or any sort of MP3 player that plays MP3 CDs, you can actually see the text for each song, which is cool. Uh, I myself am a DJ and I need MP3 CDs so that my turntables can read the data from the discs. So guys, this was just a quick tutorial on how to make an MP3 CD using iTunes. I hope this was very informative. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me on YouTube or you can send me an email. Uh, my name is Andrew from RIP Lane 99. Peace out, YouTube.